Oh, hey, everybody. I've been trying for two days to get out here and get a video done. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm going to persevere, and I'm going to get this done in the name of Jesus. All right, so as you can tell, Debbie is not out there doing a live tonight, and I do apologize because I feel absolutely horrible every time I can, and I feel horrible enough to not be able to, plus there's other um, things happening that uh, I'll be able to show you in a minute, all right? Um, but first, I wanted to share, if anybody watches uh, what we were talking about last Saturday night, uh, the channel New News, and he's a brother, Ross, and he, like, is talking about, like, not man's wars, okay, which have been going on for centuries, but biblical wars, and, of course, um, you know, he came on today, in which case, again, I will leave the link, and he was talking about how Israel, um, had 36 missiles shot at them last night, um, now this was during the wee mornings, our time, and, um, wow, first thing I thought of, well, knowing that they're all in this together, and you know, we're crazy conspiracy theorists anyways, was, wow, sounds like a code to me. <laughs> Three sixes, okay, 36, 666, six, six. I don't know. Just crazy, just thinking about that. But, um, you know, we need to be looking at these things and what happens with Israel because, you know, the Psalms 83 war, which he believes would be the next one, could possibly be the one which is a spiritual battle for Israel. If we remember the the Six-Day War, and all the others that the Lord interceded and fought for them. This is his country, the apple of his eye. Um, bombs could be coming down, and we could be going up. Who knows, right? God does, and the Word of God. So press in into there and seek it and read Psalms 83, and you'll see. I mean, if I leave you the link, you can follow his videos back, and, and he will show you how he comes up with this, and in what scriptures, for those of you that haven't heard of him yet. Okay, so then um, I wanted to share a couple other reasons on why Debbie's pain is so bad, along with the fact that we had so many tornadoes in Texas yesterday as I left that link in the community, um, but they never came near me. They were either west of me um, and or north of me. Now, right along the Oklahoma-Texas border is a river called the Red River. No coincidences, right? Okay, so they get drawn to water, and they went along the Red River about midnight last night, and that's when I was trying to come out to do my, like, 50th attempt. <laughs> it never failed. And it was just, like, a, just a crazy day. Like, um, one minute it'd be sunny the next minute it'd be pitch black and then we'd be having hail and warnings and alerts and everything was cray so that's one reason um right there um why debbie's not feeling so great and i really am not feeling really great so then we got um these other situations happening too that i want to warn about and remind us about that also could be attributing to my condition, we all know that I am a barometric pressure person. Okay, so in this also, you know, this is going to be, we talked about this the other day on how the April pink supermoon is going to be on Monday, all right? And the pink supermoon is just primarily called the flower moon. And I'm thinking, you know, wow, that's crazy. Oh, the lilacs bloom the first two weeks of May. And then we've got um, May 13th, which is Ascension Day. And May 14th, which is the Israel's birthday. And possibly Fig Tree Generation Day. I don't know. Not the Lord. He's got this, all right? But I'm thinking about these things here, and uh, all the dreams and visions are coming to pass. My goodness, that so many people have had. So, 
Praise be to God. But notice that it says it's going to reach its fullest phase at 11.31 p.m. Eastern Time on Monday, April 26th. Wow. You just can't make this up. But first thing I see right there is a, a 311. <laughs> uh, and a 111. So we got them all there. And three ones. I don't know. I'm just crazy like that. But you numbers, people, you get this, okay? And then the other thing that we need to share and talk about is we have what's called well the geometric geomagnetic I apologize storm watch okay which is the uh, CME which is a coronal mass injection that flew off the sun a few days ago earth facing and of course at one time at one moment they're saying it's not really significant are going to cause any problems but yet my electronics have been messing up all day my computer's not functioning at all. That's one of the other reasons why I'm not out here. And I've been fighting this stuff all day, too. So I don't want to fight it anymore. The battle is the Lord's, and he will fight it for me. But let's be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. As we know that the full moon brings out the crazies. Um, we also know that these geometric storms or geomagnetic storms, the coronal mass injections, could possibly have a lot to do with my pain, but also uh, cause an uptick in quakes, cause an uptick in volcanoes, uh, cause an uptick on all your computers. So, you know, don't be thinking that they didn't warn you that your phone's not working tomorrow or something like this, right? So wisdom would say if you have anything that's valuable to you um, as far as electronics are concerned, you, you just might want to consider in case of, unplugging it for tonight or something like this right you we never know what's going to happen most everything we have is on a, a power surge anyways um strip or something similar but not everybody has that and their things are connected directly in the wall we don't know if the grid's going to go down we don't know what's going to happen and also you know so that's another warning as far as the super pink flower moon and a geomagnetic CME flare that's going to be causing an uptake. Mona Lea, Kilauea, Yellowstone. I mean, I just saw there that I think it's the Poland one that's actually still going. Um, volcano. And I see that Kilauea, Mauna Leo, and Yellowstone are active today. So seeing all this, I'm saying, okay. All right, so the other day I was thinking about, I'm uh, thinking about Canada. Lord, I put Canada on my heart, and I would found out that they were under a severe, like, kind of scary kind of lockdown for them, right? So knowing that, I mean, everybody's in a state of confusion up there, not really knowing what's going on. But I heard this morning that they're sending SOS signals over to the United States for help um, because they can't get out of their situation and nobody can take them out of their situation really of course not um, that would be very difficult and very hazardous to someone's health but very hazardous to their health because they're being oh anyways it's, it's pretty bad all right so be praying for our northern brothers and sisters everybody up there of course and for one another as we pray without ceasing always we pray for one another and we encourage one another you know when the bombs come down and we go up oh it's just like you know acts 1 11 in the same way jesus went up which he was ascension up in a cloud it's the same way we're going up as spoken of in first Thessalonians 4, um, 17. We were going to meet him in the clouds. Yes, we are. Because, because we found out a mystery in 1 Corinthians 15, 52, 53. <laughs> yes. That we not all shall die. 
Just go read the scripture. Read the word. It's our daily bread. Fill up on that. Stay under his wing. Psalms 91. Uh, there's a train coming. Everybody needs to be on the Jesus train. If you're not on the Jesus train, you're on the wrong track. So, all aboard. <laughs> Get on the train because age of grace is about to end. And we are not called to wrath. And we are to pray that we are to be found worthy to escape these things which are to come. Which things are those, brothers and sisters? It's the seven years of tribulation. It's not for us, it's for Israel. And that's, we also know that only Jesus can make us worthy. As he is faithful and just to cleanse us and forgive us all of our sins and all of our unrighteousness. He's the one that keeps us holy. He's the one that keeps us clean. Takes all of our spots and our wrinkles out of our our dresses and as we're washing and waiting, right? For Titus two thirteen, to part those clouds and call us up hither. This is Debbie from Texas. Thank peace out. Maranatha. Let's keep looking up. <laughs> because the king surely is coming. <laughs>